Okay, welcome grade 11s. Today we're just uh, having a very short video. Uh, it's about Avogadro's uh, law. Now you heard all about Avogadro during grade 10 and uh, his um, contribution with mole, the concept of moles, and also Avogadro's number and so on and so forth. So his law states the following, at constant pressure and temperature, the volume of a gas is directly proportional to the number of moles of the gas present. Now, this is um, yeah, very very easy based on what we've already done as well. It's much uh, it's quite similar to the previous explanations of the other laws like Boyle's law. Charles's law and a uh, gay Dussac's law. So volume is directly proportional to moles. So this would form a straight line like that. Um, this does mean that volume will be equal to a constant times mole. There's no specific equation that we are using in calculating this, but uh, it we can derive our own expression which will look the same as um, the same as Charles' law, just with in terms of temperature and pressure, but this just volume and moles. But yeah, so this is just a quick explanation of how it looks like. If you want to derive an equation, it will look like this. Let me just quickly show you. Uh, again, we'll have two scenarios: one and two. That means V1 equals Kn1, V2 equals Kn2. So if K is equal to V1 over N1 and also equal to V2 over N2, that will then mean V1 over N1 equals V2 over N2. Um, and if you want to have a, um, a ratio regarding volume and moles, it will look like that. Um, it's not expected of you to know this, but I thought I would just introduce you to how to think about this type of concept mathematically and uh, then how to calculate it mathematically speaking as well. Okay, that's all from my side.